Welcome to Kidney Talk, where we talk all things kidney health. So today we'll be discussing how much water you should drink if you have chronic kidney disease. Let me tell you about my patient Tom. So Tom's primary care physician recently told him that his kidney function had been a little lower than normal. His wife, eager to help, spoke to some friends and was advised to get Tom a large water bottle of 3 liters and to make sure he drank it every day. Tom, wanting to improve his kidney function, started drinking the recommended amount of water, but he soon noticed that he was feeling weak and was experiencing sharpness of breath. This brings us to the question, does drinking more water actually help improve kidney function? The answer is not a simple yes or no. In fact, recent research has shown that while a median daily intake of 2 liters may be beneficial overall, there appears to be an optimal U-shaped curve where too low or too high of an intake can actually increase the risk of kidney failure and accelerate the decline in EGFR over time. That means your kidney function. So what should you do? Well, ideally, you should drink water as per your thirst. That means you should not just stick to the 2 liter water mark. If you exercise, sweat a lot or do other activities, your water intake will be more than the person who sits in front of the TV all day. It's also important to note that if you have fasting labs and want to check your kidney function, you can drink one to two glasses of water in the morning before your labs to make sure your kidneys are hydrated and not reflecting a thirsty kidney. At the end of the day, taking care of your kidneys is key to the overall well-being. Drinking enough fluids can help prevent both urinary tract infections and kidney stones while maintaining good kidney health. So don't forget to stay healthy and hydrated. Thanks for listening to Kidney Talk. If you have any questions or comments, please let us know in the comment section below.